Professor Ryan Fox presents an amazing world of energy stores and energy transfers and stuff around the world and Wales. Pre-coronavirus. And before I was banned from leaving this village, I travelled the world looking for more examples of energy stores and energy transfers. Remember, there are only actually eight ways that energy can be stored. We've met them in the previous video, possibly, if I've made it, I'm not sure. But here they are again, just to remind you. Sorry, Brian. Um, you know how much I hate continuity errors, don't you? Because, I mean, I'm wearing a hat, which I wasn't in the previous shots. And uh, another thing, it's a completely different season, Brian. It's not, it's not even the same. I mean, it's winter now. It's like four months after that last shot took place. You know? Hey, it's, it's not professional. What, what do you mean? No one will notice? Good, because I've told you before, Brian, you know how much I hate continuity errors. Yeah? Nothing drives me up the wall worse than continuity errors. To move from one energy store to another, an energy transfer method is required. So I know you're thinking, what are the four types of energy transfer? No one's thinking that, Brian. I'm not even thinking that, and I'm making this video. I'd be surprised if anyone's still awake, to be honest. Yeah? God, I hate this subject. No, not energy resources, uh, science really. Yeah, just science in general. Yep, well, well yeah, no, I know, I know I'm a science presenter, but that's not the point, is it? Am I supposed to say that? There are four ways that energy can be transferred from one energy store to another. They are by heating, work done by forces, work done when a current flows, electricity in other words, or by radiation. By that, we really mean waves like light, infrared, or sound. Take note, things like light and sound and electrical are no longer considered to be types of energy in their own right. Instead, they're methods of energy transfer. It's a fairly windy day here on the edge of the Cotswolds. Wind is a very good example of a kinetic energy store. But the question is, where did the wind get that kinetic energy store in the first place? That, that, is a, that is a good question, actually, Brian. Do, do you know? Because I, I don't. I've got, yeah, I've got to look it up. Wind is moving air, so therefore it has a kinetic energy store. Yep, yeah, I've just, uh, just Googled it. Apparently it uh, gets its energy from the sun. Let's read a bit more. The sun is a star, and like all stars, is a massive store of nuclear energy. So the nuclear energy store of the sun is transferred by radiation, by radiation I mean by infrared radiation and light, across space, where it is then trans... It's complicated, this. Both infrared and light are really good examples of energy transfer by radiation, by waves in other words. So apparently, the... Uh, Nuclear energy store in the sun, which is released by nuclear fusion, um, that nuclear store of energy is transferred across space uh, by radiation, like infrared radiation and light radiation. By so of infrared and light. And then, of course, it's incident on the Earth's atmosphere, which causes, transfers it as a thermal energy store to the wind, which is then becomes the kinetic energy store as the wind moves around. I think, I think that's it. I think I've got, I think I've got it. Before Corona, before bad beards, we were allowed to leave the country and travel to a broad land. Energy transfers can occur anywhere in the universe and not just in the UK. That's why I've come here to Spain to investigate further. Spain, home of sun, sand, culture and flamingos. Flamenco, I mean. Just getting to Spain involved lots of energy transfers. First, the plane had to transfer chemical energy into a kinetic energy store by doing work using the plane's engines. And then that kinetic energy had to work against gravity in order to increase the plane's gravitational potential energy. I could go on, but I, I, I really, really can't be bothered. Oh look, there's a cable car. There's probably something similar going on there too. This year we're off to sunny Spain. A viva España. And it's here in this Spanish swimming pool, though you can see another example of gravitational potential energy converted into a kinetic energy store. 
Mechanical work is done as GPE is transferred into kinetic energy. The energy transfer is work done by a force. A similar thing happens when you dive into water. That kinetic energy store is reduced as work is done by the force of the water on the person and it slows them down nice and gently. Oh look, a dolphin, ruler of the earth. Anyway, the kinetic energy is then dissipated into the surroundings where it ends up in a thermal energy store. Spain is also a great place to see examples of chemical energy stores, such as the local tapas or beer, which fuels our various bodily functions, through to the devastating, uncontrolled release of chemical energy in the form of wildfires sweeping through the arid landscape. The damage caused by this fire is plain for all to see here in the garden where baby Jesus, well, adult Jesus, was crucified here in Spain. What? So he was crucified in Spain? Israel? Really? My general knowledge is not that good, is it? Israel? If you say so. Spain is a country of mainly Catholic type people, as we can see here at this fair, celebrating a Virgin de la Cruz, which means something. Fun fairs, especially Spanish ones, are great places to see energy transfers in action. Here I am at the Feria de la Cruz, the fair of the very cross Virgin. Should we like that? The energy is transferred to the fairground by electrical work, by charge being moved by a potential difference, by electricity in other words. Much of the energy here ends up being transferred into the surroundings by radiation, by waves like light and sound, where it ends up in a thermal energy store. Much of the energy transferred by electricity ends up as kinetic energy as work is done by electrical engines. Electrical engines? What am I talking about? I mean electric motors. You can also see elastic potential energy stores being transferred into both kinetic and gravitational potential energy stores by work done by forces. Typical Spanish culture. Fun fairs are basically massive dissipation events. In fact, every energy transfer in the universe ends in dissipation and this will eventually result in its heat death and everything will die. After quickly realising there wasn't actually that much to do with energy transfers in Spain, we moved on. Next stop, the Caribbean Ocean. And it's here on this cruise ship in the Caribbean Ocean that we see another amazing energy change going on. This is another example of an energy transfer. Chemical energy store on this boat is being transferred by work done by the forces and turned into kinetic energy store on the boat. So the chemical energy store is being turned into a kinetic energy store. That transfer is occurring due to work done from forces in the ship's engines. On leaving Dover, I mean Jamaica, we heard the world had been struck by a terrible pandemic. COVID-19, the coronavirus. Exiled and trapped in our tiny little Worcestershire village, we became determined to make this small little tiny place the world-renowned centre of scientifically, scientific broadcastering, communication broadcastering. Our search for energy transfers continued. As autumn foreshadows winter's cold embrace, the cacophony of green leaves frown with their brownness as they turn and stop producing energy for it is no longer efficient to provide the needs of these trees through the winter months. The energy is preserved through the candescence of their verdant knock of greenness and their pure serenity as autumn grips their lives. I generally believe I could have been a poet, don't you? I mean, that was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah? No. I mean, I'm a poet. I just haven't realised it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a poet, but I don't know it. That was works. Uh, yeah, what we what we was I trying to say? That's a very good question. What well, I was trying to say, those, those leaves up there have gone brown, haven't they? And the reason why they've gone brown is because it's winter and it's just not efficient for the plants to uh, 
have the light energy, the, the nuclear energy transferred from the sun and transferred via light and radiation and convert it into stored chemical energy in the winter because there's not much sunlight as you can see today. I think that's what I was trying to say, I think, probably, something like that anyway. Chemical energy from fossil fuel power stations is transferred via electricity to our houses. Electricity is a form of energy transfer. Oh yeah, oh yes it is. It's only good today, good. Good, Brian Cox, watch yourself mate. Dad, I'm hungry. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, sorry, I've got to go. It's not easy being a, a single mother and top, uh, you know, world famous science presenter. Until the next time. I think, anyway, enough's enough. Done that to death, haven't we really? <laughs>